கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி டிசம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி Niti Aayog has released the fourth edition of the state health index for 2019 to 20 that provides incremental performance in health outcomes and status. The index is developed by Niti Aayog World Bank and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals India has named Bollywood star Alia Bhatt its 2021 person of the year. She is an animal lover and often shares pictures with her pets. The Appointments Committee of the Cabinet has approved the appointment of Atul Kumar Goyal, MD and CEO of UCO Bank as MD and CEO of Punjab National Bank with effect from February 1st next year. The Government of India has decided to constitute a five-member committee to look into the demand for withdrawal of Armed Forces Act AFSPA in Nagaland. Indi Paisa has signed a partnership agreement with NSDL Payments Bank to launch financial technology solutions targeting India's 63 million small and mid-sized enterprises sector. Somalian Prime Minister Mohammed Hussein Rob has suspended President Mohammed Abdullahi Farmazo has suspended the Prime Minister who is facing allegations of involvement in the theft of land. HDFC Bank has signed an MOU with India Post Payments Bank to offer banking services to over 4.7 crore customers of IPPB in semi-urban and rural areas. HDFC Life signed a bank and students agreement with South Indian Bank to enable customers of the South Indian Bank to avail HDFC Life's insurance products and services to the customers of South Indian Bank. Indus Bank has partnered with the National Payments Corporation to offer real-time cross-border remittances to India using UPI IDs for its money transfer operator partners. Mark Taylor, artist and toy designer for the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe franchise as well as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles passed away. Government of India has approved the appointment of Praveen Kumar IAS, former Secretary Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship to the post of Director General and Chief Executive Officer in the Institute of Corporate Affairs. Uttar Pradesh has crowned the winners of the 11th Junior National Men's Hockey Championship following a 3-1 victory over Chandigarh in the final at Kovilpatti, Tamil Nadu. Veteran Greek politician Karolos Papalias, who served as president at the height of the economic crisis of the 2010s, died. China has launched a new satellite with a camera capable of taking photos of the ground with a resolution of 5 meters, according to the National Space Administration of China. Evo Wilson, the former Harvard University biologist and Pulitzer Prize winner, whose study of ants and human behavior made him of One of the world's most influential scientists and prompted his calls for action to protect millions of species on the planet has passed away. Nitesh Kumar won double gold at the 4th Para Badminton National Championship which he concluded in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Radhika Jha has been appointed as the Chief Executive Officer in State and Energy Efficiency Services. EESL is a joint venture between NTPC Power Grid, Power Finance Corporation and REC. working to promote energy efficiency in the country.